Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And for weeks now, we've been searching for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. We've now reached our final week of eliminations. And after this, we move on to the semis and the grand finals where we will reveal our ultimate and new K-Check champion. For today, apat na contestants, all students of UP Diliman, ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Markle is a geography major. He has a fondness for rap music and spends his free time biking and bouldering. Si Jenely naman is a communication research student who enjoys K-dramas, listening to music, and sleeping. Sam is a secondary education student majoring in English with a minor in special education. Her hobbies include cooking and watching Korean dramas. And last but not least is Dave, who is a geography student whose hobbies are playing volleyball, pageantry, and hiking. He has a passion for serving his community and the youth through multiple programs and leadership organizations. These four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. We also have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila and Professor Roman Lito Austria, also known as Prof. To of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by me. Otherwise, your answer might not be given any credit. Correct answers are 10 points each. So now that the rules are in place, let's begin. Let's begin. This is round one, and this is question number one. Of what city was Vice President Sara Duterte mayor of from 2016 to 2022? Dave. Davao City. Davao City is the correct answer. Question number two. From what modern-day country does a Norwegian come from? Markle. Norway. Norway is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What is the name of the fairy tale character who labored under her stepmother? Yes, Jen. Cinderella. No less than Cinderella was under the cruelty of her stepmother, was helped by a fairy godmother, and became a princess when a shoe fit her foot. Cinderella is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. Great Britain came out on top when 21 teams from around the world competed in the inaugural Litter Picking World Cup. What Japanese city hosted this event in November 2023? Marco. Osaka. Osaka is incorrect. Sam. Yo. Tokyo is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. What radioactive element has the chemical symbol RA? Marco. Radon. Radon is incorrect. Chen. Radium. Radium is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. This time in pop music, what famous 1960s band included guitarists Paul McCartney and John Lennon? Marco. The Beatles. The Beatles is the correct answer. I actually thought all four of you would be pressing the buzzer right away. Question number seven. What country's cuisine includes delicious dishes like Peking roasted duck, Kung Pao chicken, and dim sum? Marco. Chinese cuisine. Chinese cuisine or China is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. In animals this time, if canine refers to dogs, equine refers to what animals? Sam. Fishes. Fishes is incorrect. Marco. Amphibians. 
amphibians is also incorrect. Jen. Bird. Birds is also incorrect. The correct answer is horses. Question number nine. What word may be the place you play basketball or a tribunal presided over by a judge? Jen. Court. Court is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. This time in geometry, what is the area of a triangle in square inches whose base is 10 inches and height also in 10 inches? The correct answer is 50. Question number 11 in zoology. What is the name of great ape with large ears? native to the forests of Western and Central Africa that is regarded as the smartest non-human animal. Marco. Gorilla. Gorilla is incorrect. Dave. Orangutan. Orangutan is also incorrect. The correct answer is chimpanzee. Question number 12, which is the last question for this round. Bontok is the capital of which province in North Luzon? Dave. Mountain province. Mountain province is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. And that's it for our first round. After that round, we have Markle and Jen tied for first place, followed by Dave with 20 points and Sam with 10 points. So, Markle. Diba? Ito na ngayon yung punto sa programa natin Now we try to get to know more about our contestants Marco, you have an interest in bouldering So what is it about bouldering and what is it exactly? Yung rock climbing po kasi meron siyang ano, harness So meron kang safety net when, in, when sa bouldering naman po, wala siyang safety net So nandun po yung skill talaga Para dalhin mo yung sarili mong weight Ganyan, kung paano may ma-maneuver yung yung paa mo para makakit po dun sa ano. Madali lang po siya tignan or parang ay basic lang yan. Pero pag nandun na po talaga kayo, nandun na yung fear of heights, uh -huh. nandun na rin po yung ay ang bigat ko pala. Parang kahit na tingin nyo magaan lang po kayo. Parang kung anak kita, hindi kita papayagan mag-bouldering. <laughs> hindi rin siya mukhang madali. Ah. It actually uh -huh. looks very difficult and it looks really scary. So si Jen naman. Si Jen naman na isa sa mga Ginagawang hobby ang sleeping. Can you tell us about your communication research course? At ano naman ang future ng trabaho ng na pag-aaralan mo dito sa course na to? And the sleeping actually interfere with your study. Uh, hello po. Actually po, kayo po sinabi dyan na sleeping yung hobby ko. Kasi as a commerce student po, medyo hardcore po sa akin yung paggawa ng research and every time po parang kailangan mo siya gawin. Yung research paper po kasi hindi lang siya pang overnight gagawin pero for the rest of the sem kayo mag-research. So parang struggle ko din po ang sleeping. So as much as my time ako, free time, natutulog po talaga ako just to ano po, um, restore po yung mga nawala sa akin energy during the research time. Pero po sa research naman po, what I enjoyed the most po kasi ano, during research po, pag may specific topic po kami na na research dun po ako mas nakaka-explore po and nakaka-discover ng mga new ideas which is very interesting for me po. And as of now po, I'm not really sure what specific field po of research yung ano, um, gusto kong i-focus on my future career po pero gusto ko po maging field researcher. Very good. At saka, we're just making a joke about sleeping but sleeping is important especially for students. Alam mo naman na kailangan magkaroon palagi ng balanse ang ating mga buhay. So maraming salamat, Jen and Markle. Mamaya, itutuloy natin ang chikahan natin with our other contestants. Pero sa ngayon, ay mag-prepare muna tayo dahil kasunod na po ang round 2 dito lang sa K-Check.
Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check after that first round. Markle and Jen lead with 30 points each, followed by Dave with 20 points and Sam with 10 points. So actually, our participants are all very active in answering, which always makes for an exciting round. Pero ngayon, balik tayo in getting to know our contestant, Sam. Why special education? Special education po yung pinili kong minor kasi gusto ko pong maging bahagi ng pag-curate ng appropriate na learning environment para sa mga estudyante with special needs. Ang galing subagot, parang, parang Miss Universe contest. But that's a very noble ideal to pursue that course. So now we go to Dave. Why the interest in pageantry? Because um, nung bata pa po ako, like grade 5 or grade 4, um, simula nung nanalo si Venus Rea noong 2010, ayun, nagsunod-sunod na po yung pagiging interest ko sa mga candidates representing the Philippines. Tapos nakakatunga lang kasi, um, hindi lang nila pinapakita yung showcase nila as a Filipino people, but the culture sa mismong pageantry at paano nila represent yung Filipino identity natin. But why Venus, Venus Rea specifically? Um, si Venus Rea po kasi yung ano, parang... Nauna nag-win streak, like, for how many years kasi, like, naging drought po yung pageantry. Tapos noong 2010 hanggang 2019 na po, 2021, um, sunod-sunod na po yung patakapanalo ng Philippines, like, runner-ups. Okay, maraming maraming salamat. Sabi sa inyo, it's always interesting to get to know more about our contestants. They're like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But now, it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in. But make sure to strategize because in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. Let's begin. This is round two and this is question number one. In sports, what shot is worth two or three points in basketball or three points in American football? Marco. Jump shot. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is field goal. Question number two. The Bashi Channel separates the Philippines from which island country to its north? Marco. Taiwan. Taiwan is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. In what Southeast Asian country on the northern coast of Borneo did President Bongbong Marcos attend the wedding of Prince Abdul Mateen in January 2024? Marco. Brunei Darussalam. Brunei Darussalam is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. The 38th parallel is the circle of latitude that forms the approximate boundary of which two Asian countries? Marco. North Korea and South Korea. South Korea and North Korea is the correct answer, Kche. Question number five. Narjis Mohammadi is an Iranian human rights activist who won which Peace Prize in 2023? Marco. Nobel Peace Prize. The Nobel Peace Prize is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. Taken from an Italian word for cool or fresh, what is the term for the method of painting water-based pigments on freshly applied plaster, usually on wall surfaces? correct answer is fresco. Question number seven. In music this time, what do you call the Scottish instrument consisting of two or more single or double reed pipes, the reeds being set in motion by wind, fed by arm pressure on an animal skin bag? Marco. Bagpipe. Bagpipe is the correct answer. k -check. Question number eight. In science, what do you call a nuclear reaction in which the nucleus of an atom splits into smaller parts, often producing free neutrons, lighter nuclei, and photons? Marco. Nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. First released in August 2003, 
What is the name of the software app for communication over the internet best known for VOIP-based video telephony? This is better known as Skype. Question number 10. What Disney movie about a Colombian family losing its magic won the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature Film in 2022? Hindi nyo pinanood ang Encanto. Question number 11. Who is the first drag queen from the Philippine franchise to compete in an international edition of the hit reality competition RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the World Season 2, Dave? Marina Summers. Marina Summers is the correct answer. K-check. And question number 12, which is also the last question for this round. Which 13th century Venetian merchant and explorer gave Europe its first comprehensive look into China, India, Japan, and other Asian countries? Marco. Marco Polo. Marco Polo is the correct answer. Keiche. And that's it for our second round. And that's it for our second round. After this round, we have Markle in the lead with 160 points, Dave with 40, Jen with 30 points, and Sam with 10 points. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban kasi padating na ang ultimate pagalingan round. Huwag kayong mabahala because actually that round has 360 possible points. So anything can happen in the upcoming round. So ultimate pagalingan round na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. At this point in time, a recap. Markle with 160 points, Dave with 40, Jen with 30, and Sam with 10 points. And now it's time for the ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa round na to, ang mga katanungan ay manggagaling mula sa ating mga panel of experts. And of course, way to be acknowledged by me before giving the answer. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 50-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. Ultimate Pagalingan Round Kick-Off with Prof. Neil. Sino ang Pangulo ng Bansa ang unang nagpatupad ng Reproductive Health Law at K-12 Basic Education Curriculum? Dave. Ako'y Mayakino? Tatapusin ko lang yung mga options. A. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. B. Binigno Aquino III. C. Rodrigo Duterte. D. Joseph Estrada. E. Fidel Ramos. Siya ang presidenteng ng lingkod mula 2010 hanggang 2016. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Binigno Aquino III. K-check. Prof. Marla. Where are red blood cells primarily produced in the human body? A. Liver. B. Spleen. C. Bone marrow. D. Kidneys. E. Thymus. Marco. C. Bone marrow. C. Bone marrow is correct. K check. Prof. To. This popular art movement in the United States emerged as a distinct art movement in the immediate aftermath of the World War II and gained mainstream acceptance in the 1940s and 1950s. It is an art form developed by American painters such as ja Jackson Pollock, Mark Rothko, and William de Kooning. A. Abstract painting B. Abstract art C. Abstract expressionism D. Abstract movement E. Abstraction Markle Abstract expressionism uh, The correct answer is uh, Abstract expressionism Letter C Okay, check So, Prof. Neil Ong San was a 20th century leader of which country? A. Cambodia, B. 
B. Myanmar C. Singapore D. Thailand E. Vietnam Siya ang kinikilalang ama ng kalayaan ng kanyang bansa. Siya ang ama ni Ong San Suu Kyi, Nobel Peace Prize winner. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Myanmar. Prof. Marla. Next question. What phenomenon occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, temporarily blocking the sun's light? A. Lunar eclipse B. Solar eclipse C. Asteroid belt D. Meteor Shower E. Comet Tail A. A. Lunar Eclipse A. Lunar Eclipse is incorrect Jen B. Solar Eclipse B. Solar Eclipse is correct K. Check Prof. Top uh, Philippine Cinema After the World War II, the 1950s were years of rebuilding and growth for the nation The decade saw the first golden age of Philippine cinema. Sampaguita and LVN Pictures had bounced back from the losses suffered during World War II. A new studio had been set up and coined as one of the big three in the 1950s. What is the name of the studio which joined Sampaguita and LVN Pictures? A. Regal Films B. Seiko C. Premier Studio D. FPJ Production E. Viva Max Produced the 1950s blockbuster Sawa sa Lumang Simborio starring Jose Padilla Jr. and Anita Linda. The answer is C. Premier Studio. Prof. Neil. Ano ang parehong posisyon ang hinawakan ni Nanoli De Castro, Joseph Estrada, at Gloria Macapagal Arroyo? Dave, Vice President. Bukod sa pagiging Vice President, lahat rin sila ay nagsilping membro ng Senado. So ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Vice President Kaycheck. Salamat Prof. Neil, Prof. Marla. Which of these muscles is involved in breathing? A, biceps. B, quadriceps. C, diaphragm. Jen. Letter C, diaphragm. The correct answer is C, diaphragm. Okay, check. Prokto. Philippine folk art. This paper mache craft is made using carved wooden sculptured used as a mold. Common and traditional subjects of this craft include the manok, kabayo, kalabaw, dalaga. What do you call this popular folk art or craft of Paete Laguna? A. Bulol. B. Ukir. C. Taka D. Panolong E. Luwad It's usually sold at the Town Plaza Bazaar during town festas. The correct answer is letter C. Taka And we enter the last round of questions here on the ultimate pagalingan round. Prof. Neil. Sa anong kagawaran bahagi ang National Commission on Muslim Filipinos at National Youth Commission. A. Department of Education B. Department of Interior and Local Government C. Department of Justice D. Department of National Defense E. Department of Social Welfare and Development Dave, B. Department of Interior and Local Government Ang tamang sagot ay letter B Department of Interior Local Government or DILG. K check. Prof. Marla. What is the primary function of plant roots? A. Photosynthesis. B. Water and nutrient absorption. Jen. B. Water and nutrient absorption. Water and nutrient absorption. K check. And for our last question from Prof. To. On art history. This painting style developed in France during the mid to late 19th century. Characterization of the style include small visible brush strokes that offer the bare impression of form, unblended color, and an emphasis on the accurate depiction of natural light. 
A. Surrealism B. Cubism C. Impressionism D. Expressionism E. Distill Jen Letter D. Expressionism Incorrect Dave A. Surrealism Incorrect Marco C. Impressionism The leading artists are uh, were Edouard Manet, Claude Monet, Pierre, Pierre Renoir, and Camille Pissarro. The correct answer is letter C, Impressionism. K-Check. Maraming salamat and that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Markle, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 250 points. We'll see Markle again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for the last spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat ulit kay Jen, Sam, and Dave for joining. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Marla, and Professor To. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check.